most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having it. When I sit in the early morning hours before too much traffic plays by, I'm often amazed at how many gay people and how many straight people, how many lying people like to harm a person's cell phone, harm a person's rights, harm a person's everything in technology today. But what I often say to people is you need to get offline. You still need an online profile, you still need an online brand, you still need an online presence, you still need phone numbers where people can contact you if they can. But what we know about the pocketing of minutes from companies is that sometimes we don't get the messages that we think we send. Other times we don't get the emails that we should send, or we didn't send, or we were wanting to send. But openly when someone is reaching out to you, trying so hard to repair with you, maybe it's time that you look to God, and maybe it's time you look to your Savior. Maybe it's time you appreciated Jesus and simply say, I forgive you. But in the life of a man, he has only a few love is really pretty true. Sure, there are players in America that are absolutely stunningly gorgeous and actually handsome to a lot of people who are willing to lay with them, but most people are looking for their lifetime partner who they can play with, lay with, and stay with that will never harm them. And what I can say to the women that I have loved and the woman that I love most today is that there is absolutely nothing you can do to charm your way away from the love I have for you.